this, of course, despite a jobs report was tepid, I think you could say at best. Let's discuss with Griffin Capital's chief economist, Randy Anderson, and Federated Investors' senior equity strategist, Linda Dissel. Thank you both for being here. Randy, let me go to you first. That jobs report, it was pretty you know, lukewarm. Um, what is the state of the economy? I keep wanting to say, look, we're moving forward, we're gaining momentum, but the economic data doesn't always play into that. Well, it's exactly as we've been talking about since December. We've got an economy that's a little bit long in the tooth, but it's growing. We're in a 2% economy. You know, the truth is that consumption makes up 70% of GDP, and we're really already close to full employment. It's really hard to add jobs at the rate we've been adding jobs. This is a pretty reasonable, pretty strong job number, given where we are in the economic recovery. We really see a range bond economy that's going to be in the 2% range, and we see that leading to relatively low interest rates as we wrap up 2017. So we're looking at a 2% GDP. GDP number, a 2% handle on interest rates, and a nice sort of Goldilocks economy where we're growing fast, but not too fast. That was a lot of information, Randy. That's great stuff. Linda, um, okay, so kind of an average jobs report, but the market, who cares? It continues to melt upwards. More records every day. What's your take? I like everything that Randy just said. I agree <laughs> with him 100%. And they said it was a disappointing jobs report. But wage growth stuck in the 2 to 2.5% two range yeah. is not an inflationary concern. And our biggest concern from the market would be if inflation got carried away and the, and the Fed said, oh, my God, we're way behind the curve here and we need to raise rates dramatically. That's what we don't want. If we don't have a boom, we won't have a bust. Nice and slow, steady as she goes. It is Goldilocks. I agree with Randy. Yeah, but, you know, to follow up with you, Linda, the VIX today dropping so low back to, you know, a month low down to under 10, which means that... Yeah, we're all pretty complacent. There's not a lot of volatility in there. And from an investor's point of view, we've seen record after record after record. Can we still jump in and make money? Uh, yeah, well, if I travel the country all the time. I talk to the advisors all the time. Yeah. They're always worried. And the important point I always make is it's about earnings and the price I pay for the earnings. The P.E. can stay reasonably high if inflation is under control, which it appears to be. Mm -hmm. And the earnings recession is over. A nice, slow, steady growth. Maybe we get some tax cuts still in our future. Yes, the market can keep on going. I wouldn't be afraid of a low volatility. I'd be afraid of a high one. A high one. Uh, Randy, listen, um, there was talk of 3% GDP. Among all the numbers you gave us, I didn't hear that 3%, maybe 2%. Um, is it all dependent on what comes out of Washington, in your mind, for this economy to pick up? If we do get the tax cuts, the deregulation, new health care, all of that, and then are we off to the races? Well, you know, I think all that's going to help. And that's why I think, that, you know, the Trump administration is going to deliver a better economy than the Clinton administration would have delivered. But understand, we've got one foot on the gas with infrastructure spending and with tax cuts. But on the other hand, we've got the risk of the Fed increasing interest rates. And we don't want them to increase interest rates too fast. We've got a stronger dollar that's out there. So we've got a lot of balancing forces. And again, it really goes back to what drives GDP. And ultimately, that's really the consumer. And the consumer's already out there. They're already spending money. So a lot of these tax cuts and other benefits they're going to end up in savings and they're going to end up, you know, kind of moderating GDP. Right. But listen, the probability of recession is almost off the table today. So it's not a bad Ten economy seconds. as we look forward. That's very good, Randy. Ten seconds is the one area you really like in the market right now? Uh, we think I, we're in I, the back I, half of a cycle. We like right. large cap growth, technology, and health care. Technology and health Well, all the money goes into the Amazons and the Facebooks of the world. Linda, Randy, thank you so much for joining us. We head into the weekend. They're happy. They're clapping. The closing bell's coming up. Another record day.